The current president has cloaked American darkness for much too long. Too much anger, too much fear, too much division. Here and now, I give you my word. If you entrust me with the presidency, I will draw on the best of us, not the worst. I'll be an ally of the light, not the darkness. It's time for us, for we the people, to come together. And make no mistake, united we can and will overcome this season of darkness in America. We'll choose hope over fear, facts over fiction, fairness over privilege. I'm a proud Democrat, and I'll be proud to carry the banner of our party into the general election. So it's with great honor and humility, I accept this nomination for President of the United States of America. But while I'll be a Democratic candidate, I will be an American president. I'll work hard for those who didn't support me, as hard for them as I did for those who did vote for me. That's the job of a president, to represent all of us, not just our base or our party. This is not a partisan moment. This must be an American moment. Just judge this president on the facts. Five million Americans infected by COVID-19. More than 170,000 Americans have died. By far the worst performance of any nation on earth. More than 50 million people have filed for unemployment this year. More than 10 million people are going to lose their health insurance this year. Nearly one in six small businesses have closed this year. And this president, if he's reelected, you know what will happen. Cases and deaths will remain far too high. More mom and pop businesses will close their doors, and this time for good. Working families will struggle to get by. And yet the wealthiest 1% will get tens of billions of dollars in new tax breaks. What we know about this president is if he's given four more years, he'll be what he's been for the last four years. A president who takes no responsibility, refuses to lead, blames others, cozies up to dictators and fans the flames of hate and division. He'll wake up every day believing the job is all about him never about you. Is that the American you want for you, your family, your children? I see a different America, one that's generous and strong, selfless and humble. It's an American we can rebuild together. As president, the first step I will take will be to get control of the virus that has ruined so many lives. Because I understand something this president hasn't from the beginning. We will never get our economy back on track. We will never get our kids safely back in schools. We'll never have our lives back until we deal with this virus. The tragedy of where we are today is it didn't have to be this bad. Just look around. It's not this bad in Canada or Europe or Japan or almost anywhere else in the world. And the president keeps telling us the virus is going to disappear. He keeps waiting for a miracle. Well, I have news for him. No miracle is coming. We lead the world in confirmed cases. We lead the world in deaths. Our economy is in tatters with black, Latino, Asian American, Native American communities bearing the brunt of it. And after all this time, the president still does not have a plan. Well, I do. For love is more powerful than hate, hope is more powerful than fear, and light is more powerful than dark. This is our moment. This is our mission. May history be able to say that the end of this chapter of American darkness began here tonight as love and hope and light join in the battle for the soul of the nation. And this is a battle we will win and we'll do it together. I promise you. Thank you, and may God bless you, and may God protect our troops.
In a convention that already so effectively extolled Joe Biden's virtues and called out Trump's deficits, Biden not only met expectations, he exceeded them. First and foremost, Biden acknowledged the fact that he's not running on fear. He's not running on hate or division or darkness. Donald Trump and Republicans rely on those things to win. They rely on turning people against each other, on exacerbating our divisions and pointing out our differences. But Trump needs to because he needs something to divert attention away from the fact that his agenda is not a winning strategy. And so to compensate, Trump has to stoke fear and conjure up imagery of dangerous immigrants and violent cities. He needs something, anything, to distract from the fact that he's got nothing to run on, only something to run against. But the fact that Joe Biden can run not only on the promise of hope, but unity, even now with historic polarization, is a testament to the fact that this won't be a president run by his base. This won't be a president who panders to the farthest reaches of the political spectrum. He'll be a president who acknowledges that he's presiding over the entire country, not just the states with more Democrats or Republicans. Biden spoke to our desperate need for a president capable of empathy, a president for whom everything isn't just transactional, a president whose response to a pandemic wouldn't hinge on his own political fortunes. A president whose adherence to the rule of law doesn't depend on whether his associates and donors get a chance to pilfer taxpayers for a quick buck. A president who won't deprive Americans hurting right now for some relief, depending on whether their state is blue or red. As late as today, Trump suggested not sending emergency assistance to help California fight wildfires because he has nothing to gain politically from helping a blue state. Forget that there are more registered Republicans in California than Alaska, Arkansas, Idaho, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, and South Dakota combined. If there's no obvious transactional benefit for Trump, then he could not care less about helping you. Most immediately, Biden made it clear that he would take this pandemic seriously. Whereas Trump's now had seven months to coordinate a nationwide testing and contact tracing system and produce enough PPE and advocate for stay-at-home orders and encourage mask mandates, he failed to lead every step of the way. And yet Biden has made clear that he'll employ the advice of experts. He'll deploy rapid tests with immediate results, supply PPE that Americans need, make sure schools get the resources they need before they can safely reopen, take the muzzle off of experts so that the public gets the information that they require, create a national mask mandate, all steps that should have been done from the beginning, all steps that Trump still, even today, refuses to do. Biden made clear that he's willing to do the work rather than doing the bare minimum and then throwing himself a parade. I should note too that Republicans have basically predicated Trump's entire re-election on suggesting that Biden can't even manage to speak a single sentence. And yet in giving likely the best speech of his political career, Biden single-handedly destroyed that narrative. He single-handedly deprived the right of being able to use the only argument that they bothered to cook up. He spoke cogently, forcefully, and clearly met the moment. And so now, after the speech, you have to ask yourself, who is the actual capable one? Joe Biden, having delivered the best speech of his career, speaking to our need for justice, for decency, for leadership? Or the guy who can't go 10 minutes without rambling on about killer windmills or dying birds or exploding light bulbs or flushing toilets? The fact is that Trump tried to turn Biden into a caricature and this speech proved that he failed miserably. You already know Donald Trump. And despite Trump's best efforts to define him, you now know Joe Biden too. The difference couldn't be more clear, and neither could our need for a change of leadership in the White House. While you're here, please subscribe to my podcast, No Lie with Brian Tyler Cohen, where I take a deeper dive into the week's biggest stories and interview major players in the world of politics, like Kamala Harris, Adam Schiff, Katie Porter, Nancy Pelosi, Cory Booker, Eric Swalwell, and many more. Again, that's No Lie with Brian Tyler Cohen, available anywhere you listen to podcasts.